back with more adventurer league and we even got our own little uh home page here sound and music is on it turns into regular fun with an episode with the setting exchanged uh, at hall all herb speaking of course uh, this time I would like to learn more about the gladiator pits. Um, the fighting in the fight pits is done with purpose made we weapons that can be very painful and demoralizing to get hit by but are unlikely to kill an opponent. There are 5 tiers of matches with money and reputation earned getting higher as team progresses to the tiers. Of course the fights tend to increase in difficulty as well so you know it's not going to be easy to rise to the top considering what you have learned signing up for tier 2. We you meet the fighting promoter and tell him you would like to sign up for the match. He sizes you up and says, good, good. Your next match will be in tier two against the Pouncing Pirates. Pouncing, really? Um, crew members of the feared privateer that uh, anchors in okay. Alexis like said, we get 40 golds for this guy, so we're going to take this. Injuries uh, will be sustained after battle or something like that. So the, if you want to go ahead and uh, be like really cheap with this game and kind of get you really far in this game, is be kind of a hacks is to just get a team of all archers because you really have uh this game is really packed with the archers like you literally can just like literally stand in a position let them come to you and just kind of just light them up um so it's it's a pretty brutal thing with the whole archer system it's uh, it's unfair you see they have range all i have to do is let these guys kind of just walk into my range and it's it's a, it's, it's a wrap so it's kind of like some some cheat it's, it's pretty much a cheater type stuff there and as you can see, I didn't even really have to move. So, if you want to be cheap and cheat, you can go ahead and use all archer teams. But I'm going to make this a little bit harder for myself for better gameplay and struggles. Struggleability. If that's even a word, struggleability. <laughs> uh, but the, the only problem is, is that you're very vulnerable and you cannot uh, attack on close range. Can't do close combat. And also, you're very weak. You have no defense. Um, so, you can easily die. So that there there are some bad perks about being an archer but for the most part it's pretty much hacks all the way through um, so it all depends just how you want to play the game enemy ranged attack okay enemy has range as well knock you out put you right there There you go. It's pretty easy. I must say, let's pocket the reward. Let's keep going here. Let's see how far we can get. We should be able to beat all tiers today. Uh, that would be the goal. So these are uh, long range. These guys with the steers and spears, whatever, they have long range. Uh, which makes them a really uh, opponent to watch out for. Yeah, you don't want to get too close to these guys because of the range that they possess. Bam. Bam. Get rid of you. Um... They can attack over bridges. Bam! Good job. Looks like we're on tier 5 here. Last time I went with the fencer, so it got a little bit hard for me because fencers, uh, fencers aren't the best here. This one takes a little bit more strategy because we're outnumbered with strength. Um, they have archers with armor and all that stuff, so... We might lose here. It's just best to hope for the best here, cause um, as you can see, we are we are outnumbered with armor. I can just try to take out one guy at a time. And there you go. Easily completed the whole gladiator pit. And uh, yeah, we are the gladiator gods. So let's go ahead and um, 
Rest uh, how much do I have? Let's buy animals. Uh, let's go ahead and restock our food supplies as much as we can get. Let's leave the harbor side. Let's go to supplies. They're still unimpressed by us. Let's see what a uh, new a merchant draws attention. Beacon delivers a parcel. It is just some documents that I have. Uh, I need to deliver to Cosgrove Point. It is an arduous, uh, arduous journey, and the matter is routine, so I do not need to go myself. As for compensation, you will be paid twenty. Cosgrove Point. We'll see where that is. Before I deliver anything, I shall see what the fuck I'm going. Yeah, we got recognition in there. Deserters. Call their bluff. You guys are fucking lying. You guys are weak. We gonna put the works on you, bro. That is for sure. We need to reach a good town that has armor, so we need to rack up some gold here. That would be our main goal. We need gold. Whoa, they advanced fast. Damn. One of my guys died. That's a problem. There is such thing as permadeath where you, that's the whole point where you gotta get uh, new party members here. Because of permadeath. Thing. Hopefully he's still on our party. Uh, Shop has died from wounds. Furthermore, Jerry has been wounded, so this seems like a hollow victory. Drink to our fallen comrade. Yeah, you look old and battered anyways. Why the fuck would I even bother? Fuck, you look beat. This is the map. Okay, so we gotta go all the way to Crossgove Point, which is all the way the fuck up there. No way. That sucks. Let's continue on though. Let's see if we can do it without no uh, casualties here. Let's pay their toll. Sometimes it's not good to just um, go on a rampage and completely like encounter enemies because it gets pretty bad. Just follow this path and you will easily reach Cosgrove Point. Let's go over here. A collapsed lighthouse. You have no idea how this old ruins are or what the fate they have suffered. Okay, continue your travels because it's pretty. It's a pretty sad sight, but that was tragic. Let's deliver this parcel. Let's offer your assistance. You ask for a company who agrees to see you. Obviously, he has heard of you and has need of your help in your estimation. Okay, ordinary straightforward man. As soon as you're discussing matters. Okay, but I won't lie to you. It will be dangerous. You tell company harbor master. Um, you will find the deserters and make them pay for their crimes. Thank you. This is to get a reward here. Uh, talk to the barkeeper. To a solemn looking robed man, a robed man with a shaved head. Over a short conversation he tells you he is a monk from the monastery of St. Augur's and that he needs an armed escort to return. Okay, so this is the monk mission where he, the monk becomes part of your party, and St. Augur's, okay. Let's look for someone to join your party. We stock on food. A boar encounter. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> that doesn't look like a fucking boar to me. That's a bear. One of our guys is dead here, so we have to look for a new party member, which sucks. The monk does not do anything at all. He's weak as fuck. But we have to escort him, so we can't make a we can't make him too feel uncomfortable. I guess. You ask me, I could care less. I'm ready to fuck that guy, no matter what. Uh. Two bundles of food. Let's look at the map here one more time. So Saint Augurts. Who the fuck is that? We already at Cosgrove Point here. We can't cross the Dead Lake. Uh, 
I don't know if we can actually go to Tartarahana or Griotoni or Rocks Crossing, Caprice or Hedering because they're all blocked by bridges and we can't, it doesn't seem like we gotta finish the. So our next option would obviously be that either that point across from us, across that lake into the mountains where it looks like there's a castle or a Bessenberg. Mm, so I think we should just keep going along this path and see where it takes us. Uh, so Bessenberg is up here. Go to Town Hall, offer your services. Yeah, we're already filled with a uh, tavern for possible information. I'll take care of some bandits for someone to join your company. I can't afford you at the time. I need to get guapped then. I need to stop spending my money and uh, use it for other purposes. Let's draw our weapons. Retreat is not an option. Uh, who says we need to retreat? My archer can about take on most of these guys. So yeah, just kind of line them up, let them come to me, and it's pretty brutal. It's it's a cheap hacks move. As you can see, I don't have to move at all, really. Um, it's just a nasty setup. I like it. It's 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 kind of outdated, a little bit uh, cheap. But you cannot deny it, it's pretty useful. Bam! I was about to use my monk as a sacrifice. But luckily we did it. Let's go back and collect that reward. I will take you into arms. Go back to the main street. Now we can offer our services. He still doesn't want us. So, uh, fuck him. Go ahead and sell all of our loot. Brown's armor tells for special weapons. Uh. Oh, fuck you. Admire the armor if you could afford it. If you could afford it. You have 200 gold to spare. All I can do is admire. That's funny. That's not funny at all. It's pretty fucked up. But there, anyway, that end this episode here. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have, make sure to like, subscribe, give us feedback. And, um. And, uh, yeah, so. Let's try to see what's up with this bridge here. They won't let us back. I don't think any of these bridges will let us pass. So I gotta end this episode here and I will come back to you guys when we come back with some more quests here. Continue our journey on Adventure League. Yeah, this game is pretty fun, so enjoy.